Hello accounting superstars, this is Professor Don Bush from the Accounting Superstar channel. So glad you're here. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So today's lesson is about job costing, the journal entries involved. And today we're focusing on manufacturing overhead. And what I'm trying to do here for you is I'm trying to boil things down to the simplest I possibly can, all right? So I know I'm leaving out details, but that's okay. I'm just trying to get uh, the the uh, basic idea across to you guys. So Sunset Sailboat Company builds sailboats, beautiful sailboats, 25 foot to 35 foot custom sailboats. And um, as you guys know, at least I hope by now in a job cost system, uh, there are three types of costs. There's uh, direct raw materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. So those are the three. So today we're focusing on manufacturing overhead. So if you want to see videos on the other um, items like direct labor and direct raw materials, check out my videos. A good way to do that is to go to accountingsuperstars.com. And that's a web, my website, accountingsuperstars.com, and I've got all these videos listed by topic, so it's easy to find. So anyways, let's see here. What else? Hey, here's something else. Hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Um, that way, I'll know you like these videos. YouTube will know you like these videos. Everybody will be happy, all right? I'll make more videos for you. So here we go. So this is manufacturing overhead. So here we go. So what is manufacturing overhead? Well, here's some examples. Indirect labor, indirect materials, and factory costs. So real quickly, indirect labor, those are people that work inside the factory, very important people, but they don't actually build the sailboats. Like I've got a picture of a janitor here. Another person would be the factory supervisor. Uh, indirect materials, things like glue, um, all kinds of things here, machinery grease. Uh, let, let's see here, what else? Uh, sandpaper, just all kinds of things. Factory costs, other factory costs like insurance, property taxes, uh, what it costs to keep uh, the, the factory heated, the, the night security people, um, lights, over, the overhead lights. So, uh, so I wrote down some examples here like indirect labor, factory janitor, factory supervisor, inspectors, people who inspect the boats. They don't actually build the boats, but they inspect them. Inventory manager, so coming down here to indirect materials, things like glue, sandpaper, grease, solder. Solder is used to connect uh, electrical wiring together. And then other factory costs, and there could be a lot of them. Uh, factory insurance, uh, factory property taxes, factory security, factory maintenance. Here is an example journal entry. Anytime you have overhead, factory overhead, this is the kind of journal entry that you would want to do. Here we go. You would debit manufacturing overhead for the amount of money involved, and you would credit whatever it is. In this case, it's property taxes. So I've got property taxes payable. You might have, oh gosh, um, grease, you know, uh, from, um, you know, maybe uh, indirect raw materials or something for grease. Uh, maybe the um, wages owed to the factory janitor, you know, uh, factory janitor wages payable or something. So now um, factory overhead can, can, can contain like hundreds of different things. There are so many things that fall into the category of factory overhead and they add up. They add up uh, to a lot of money. So uh, the property taxes uh, ended up being $20,000. So there you go. Now, manufacturing overhead is a temporary account. We're just temporarily storing numbers. We're just putting numbers in this manufacturing overhead account. And then we're going to pull the numbers back out. All right. Now, it'd be really nice if all the numbers that we put in equals all the numbers that we pull out. It doesn't always work that way. But there, there's ways to fix that. But anyways, the point is manufacturing overhead it's, it's a holding account. It's just a temporary account. Uh, numbers are going to be put in there and we'll take numbers out. All right. So let's see here. Let's go down to the next part. All right. Now, 
Since uh, manufacturing overhead was debited for $20,000, we need to update the manufacturing overhead general ledger account. All right, so this is the holding account. This is the temporary account. We're accumulating all the overhead costs. Now, I only have $20,000 in there, but there could be millions of dollars in there, like lots of money and, and lots and lots and lots of different items. So don't be fooled. There'll, there'll be more than just $20,000 in there, but I just want to keep it simple. But anytime you debit manufacturing overhead, you got to update the manufacturing overhead um, general ledger account. So coming down here, so how do we get money out of manufacturing overhead? How do we get money back out? See, we're, we're putting money in. Money's going in. When you debit it, it's going in, and we're going to credit it. That's money going out. And why is it going to go out? Well, the reason why it's going to go out is because we need to apply it to the different sailboats being made. You know, whenever you build a sailboat or build anything, it requires direct labor, direct materials, and factory overhead. So we have to take money out of this account and apply it to whatever sailboat we're working on. So here is how the Sunset Sailboat Company does it. And every company can be a little different. There, In fact, there are some kind of complex ways to do this. But for instance, they, they call it activity-based costing. Now, you'll, you'll probably run into that later in the semester. But for now, this, this is the idea. And if you can get the idea here, you can understand activity-based costing. So here's what it says. It says predetermined manufacturing overhead rate. Well, what does it mean predetermined? What does that mean? Well, it means determined in advance. We're, we're going to figure it out in advance. So how do they do that? Well, I've, I've got the formula right down here and I'll share that with you here in a second. So Sunset Sailboat Company allocates manufacturing overhead to sailboats being constructed or in work in process at a rate of $1.50 for every $1 of direct labor charge to a sailboat. So in other words, if um, somebody works on a sailboat and they charge $1 of direct labor to that sailboat, then we'll turn around and we'll charge $1.50 in manufacturing overhead to that sailboat, all right? So it's like for every $1 of direct labor, we have $1.50 of manufacturing overhead. Not all companies work like this. It's just the way the Sunset Sailboat Company does it, all right? Everybody's different, but at least you get the idea. So let's read on. For example, $1,000 of direct labor was used to construct the sailboat Summer Breeze. Therefore, $1,500 of manufacturing overhead will be applied to the sailboat Summer Breeze. Okay, so what's going on? They spent $1,000 in direct labor, and for every $1 direct labor, we're going to add in $1.50 of overhead. Here is the journal entry. So we're going to debit work in process. So what's happening is we're transferring this overhead from manufacturing overhead to work in process. That's all we're doing. We're, we're just moving the numbers. That's all we're doing. Now, I told you that uh, with manufacturing overhead, we're putting money in and then we're going to take money out. Well, here we are taking money out when we credit manufacturing overhead we're taking money out so let's go back up here and look at this so here we go we're going to credit manufacturing overhead so we're taking money out so in other words twenty thousand uh, dollars came in to manufacturing overhead which is a temporary account and fifteen hundred dollars is going out because it's being placed into work and process or or the sailboat summer breeze Sa same deal All right money in money out and hopefully at the end of the year that the money coming in equals the money going out, but that doesn't always happen. That doesn't, doesn't always work that way. All right, so, so let's look at the formula here, the magic formula to do this. Well, here it is. It looks kind of scary, but it's easy. So here's what you do. Estimated annual manufacturing overhead. So what, what is estimated annual manufacturing? What is that? Well, at the beginning of the year, the managers and the accountants all get together and they, they try to estimate, well, how much overhead do you think we'll have this year? Well, I, I can imagine how the conversation goes. They'll say, well, how much did we have last year? You know, that, that's usually a pretty good starting point. Well, do you think we'll have, uh, we'll build more sailboats this year? Do you think our overhead's going to go up? Uh, are we having inflation or something? I, you know, so what, what's going to be our 
estimated annual manufacturing overhead. Now, so they come up with a guess. It's a guess. It's a total guess because who knows the future, but they do have to do it in advance. They can't wait till the end of the year. And then you divide it by the estimated annual operating activity. Now, again, this is also a guess. So this, this whole manufacturing overhead thing, it's like a big guess. So estimated annual operating activity, in this case, it's the amount of direct labor. Because what we did is for every $1 direct labor, we added in $1.50 of manufacturing overhead. So they're using direct labor as the basis. Direct labor doesn't always have to be the basis. I mean, you can use whatever is best for your company. But this is how it's done, guys. Big giant guess. Who would have thought there'd be so many guesses in accounting? Isn't that crazy? A lot of guesses. Okay. So let's see where this goes. So um, so what we did is we credited manufacturing overhead for 1500 and it went right up here into the manufacturing overhead account. That's money coming out of that account. And where's it going? Well, it's going to work in process and to be more specific to the sailboat, Summer Breeze. All right, so let's go down here. Here's the job cost sheet for Summer Breeze. And look at that, folks. It is entered in there already. Hey, you know, if it was a computerized system, I'm sure it would be entered in there already. So here's the overhead applied, 1500 It's It goes on the job cost sheet. Here we go. Now, coming down here, we also have to make sure that the work in process inventory account is updated too. This is a general ledger account. It, uh, see, the, these job cost sheets and the work in process inventory account, they've got to match. If you add up all the costs on all the job cost sheets that are in work in process, they've got to add up to this account, you know, and vice versa. They, they got to match. Hey, and by the way, while I'm thinking of it, uh, I've got uh, arrows here, you know, over here on the left, I've got raw materials. And so raw materials get, get entered into the job cost sheet and direct labor gets entered in there uh, also. And, and those were topics of previous lessons. Again, check out accountingsuperstars.com to, to uh, find these videos. It's a lot easier to find them if you just, you know, look, look on the web page. All right. So that ought to do it for today, folks. Hope that helped out a little bit. Hope it gave you a general understanding of what's going on with manufacturing overhead. Now in your textbook, it'll probably be a little bit more complicated, but at least you know what's going on. You, you got the idea now. All right, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and check out accountingsuperstars.com, folks. All right, until next time, over now.